Hello, my dear students. Hope you are all having a bright morning. Uh, this is our final revision for the final exam. So let's get started. Here we are going to start with the time clauses of a future will and be going to. We have here the first sentence. Angela will read the books, then she will return them to the library. Rewrite using the word after. So it's going to be Angie will return the books to the library after she reads them. So where is the first action? That she will read the books first and then she will return them to the library. The second one here, Tom will tidy his room, then he will go out with his friends. He wants me to rewrite the sentence using the word until. So. Tom won't go out with his friends until he tidies his room. Whenever we have until in, in a sentence, we should have a negation. So Tom won't go out with his friends until he tidies his room, which means that he should tidy his room first and then he will go out with his friends. Number three, Susan will finish college, then she will apply for a job. Where is the first action here? That she will finish her college and then she will apply for a job. He wants me to rewrite the sentence using the word as soon as and I want you to know that as soon as is the same like after as soon as means after so it's gonna be as soon as Susan finishes college she will apply for a job so the first action is that she is going to finish college first and then she will apply for a new job number four I will withdraw some money from the bank then I will buy a new laptop rewrite the sentence using the word when so when I withdraw some money from the bank I will buy a new laptop whenever answering a question like these I should I should focus on the first action and the second action. I should also ask myself, where is the first action here? So the first action is I'm going to withdraw some money from the bank. What will happen after that is that I will buy a new laptop. So the first action is I will withdraw some money and the second is I will buy a new laptop. Number four, Amanda will get a passport, then she will fly to Paris. Rewrite the word, rewrite the sentence using the word until. Of course, whenever I see until in a sentence, I should put a negation. I should negate the sentence. So it will be Amanda won't fly to Paris until she gets a passport. The second thing we have here is the vocabulary. Number one, my neighbor was scared to death or life or love when the thief broke into her house. Of course, it's scared to death because it's an expression. Scared to death. I'm scared to death. Number two, I'm a firm believer, which means I'm a strong believer that having a loyal premium or companion or strength will ease your life. Ease your life here means to make your life at ease, to make your life easy. So it will be companion and companion here means friend companion means friend number three my mother's health communication or connection or condition hasn't been very well since my father's death of course it's a health condition we say health condition of course communication and connection are irrelevant so it's condition number four the conjuring horror movie has a lot of jump scares and fence or sense or suspense of course it's suspense suspense here means thriller and mystery okay so suspense means mystery and thriller Number four, Jessica slammed the door and shouted all of a sudden or all with a sudden or all by a sudden. Of course, it's all of a sudden because it's also an expression, all of a sudden. The third part we have here is the word formation. What's the meaning of word formation? I take the word and decide whether it's a noun, adjective, adverb, and so on. So number one, scientists announce that of a new species of plant of course it's a discovery discovery here is a noun okay a discovery of a new species of plant so what's the word formation what's the part of speech of the discovery here it's a noun number two what is your only friend when you encounter an extreme situation and encounter here means when you face when you confront an extreme or a dangerous situation he wants me to put brave of course bravery 
bravery here is your only friend when you encounter an extreme situation and of course we have a personification here okay number three you should wear your jacket to keep yourself what from cold weather to keep yourself safe safe here is an adjective to keep yourself safe okay number four i am committed to my marriage and he wants me to put strong what's the word formation that i should use here of course it's i am strongly committed so strongly committed here is an adverb whenever we have a word with an ly it's an adverb so i am strongly committed to my marriage of course number five lara was shocked when she knew that her daughter had failed her exam and he wants me to use the word formation of extreme so it's gonna be i'm extremely lara was extremely shocked when she knew that her daughter had failed her exam and of course extremely here is also an adverb extremely here is an adverb okay the fourth part we have here is the question tags what are the question tags whenever we have a question tag in a sentence if the sentence is in a positive form i use that negation and if it's in the negation form i use the positive form and of course i don't change the tense of the sentence for example number Number one, J Jana was promoted. So the, the tense here is past simple. So it will be wasn't she and she did. She here refers to Jana. Okay. Number two, he won't tell her the truth. So the answer is will he because won't is the negation. So I should ask myself what's the positive form of won't it a it is well number three he didn't recognize me so the tense here is past sample and is it in the negation form or in the positive form of course it's in the negation form so i will put it in the positive form it will be did she did he so he didn't recognize me did he Number four, I am clever. Here we have a positive form. So the negative form is going to be aren't I because I'm talking to myself, aren't I? Number five, they can hardly hear you. They can hardly hear you. Whenever we have hardly or recently in the sentence, it means that the sentence is already in the negative form. So I should put it in the positive form. So they can hardly hear you can they why didn't i put can't they because we have hardly so hardly is from the words that negate the sentence so i use it in the positive form the fifth section we have here is uh, is also a word formation complete the sentences with words formed from the words in bold it's an also word formation number one that was such a tough person of course here he is talking about a person so it will be the examiner the examiner is a person so it's a noun so the examiner was such a tough person number two do you like our food food here is a noun so i want our to describe the food traditional and traditional here is an adjective because i am describing the food traditional food number three sarah is keen on arts she has recently joined the drama club perform sarah is keen on performing arts it's also here an adjective Number four, the French course four starts on 24th of April. He wants me to put begin. The French course for beginners, for beginners. Big beginners here is also a noun, okay? The last one here, he was ill and received most, most of his at home. Of course, most of his education and education here is also a noun, okay? The last part we have here is the passive, which is really essential. Rewrite the following sentences using the words in brackets. Whenever I answer a passive sentence, I should determine two essential things. What are they? The object of the sentence and the tense of the sentence here. Linda made some biscuits yesterday. What's the tense of the sentence here? The tense here is past simple. Linda made some biscuits yesterday, okay? Rewrite using where. So where is the object? Biscuits. Some biscuits are the object, okay? So some biscuits were made by Linda yesterday. 
Number two, Jessica carried all the bags last Sunday. Rewrite using the word between brackets, which is by, okay? So the tense here is also a past simple. Where is the object? All the bags. So, all the bags were carried by Jessica last Sunday. Number three, Keith delivered the box yesterday morning. Rewrite using the word the box. So the box here is the main object of that sentence. So I start with the object. In the passive, I start with the object. So the box was delivered by Keith yesterday morning. Number four, Tom and Beth bought two plan tickets last week. Two plan tickets, of course, two plan tickets here is the main object, so I will start with it. So, two plan tickets were bought by Tom and Beth last week. What's the tense here? The tense here is in the past simple, okay? The last one, Tom waters the plants. Tom watered, waters the plants. He wants me to rewrite using the word are, okay? What, where is the object here? The object here is the plants, okay? And what's the tense of the sentence? The tense here is present simple, okay? So it will be, the plants are watered by Tom because it's a present simple and are, not is, because of course the plants is plural. So the plants are watered by Tom. Here we have come into our revision. Hope you're all having a bright morning and wish you all the success. Thank you.